and welcome to Time with Lydia, the pharmacist. Today, I want us to have a brief chat about the symptoms of herpes in females. Herpes is caused by the herpes simplex virus. There are two types, the herpes simplex virus 1 and the herpes simplex virus 2. The herpes simplex virus 2 is the most common cause of genital herpes. Genital herpes is a common sexually transmitted infection affecting more than 400 million people worldwide. Women have a higher risk of contracting genital herpes more than men because it is easily transmitted from a man to a woman during penetrative sex. Today our focus is on the symptoms of herpes in females or the symptoms of herpes in women. Early symptoms or the first signs of herpes in women would normally show up around 2 to 12 days after the infection. Initially, the symptoms will be mild, but as the outbreak progresses, they become more severe. And take note of the fact that some women will be asymptomatic, that is, they would not show any symptoms at all, but this does not mean that they cannot transmit the infection to somebody else. The symptoms of herpes in females would include uneven shaped blisters that best to leave small red painful ulcers around your genitals and surrounding areas such as your vulva, the opening of the vagina, the rectum, the cervix or the thighs. These blisters can appear on any of these parts of the body that I have just mentioned. Other symptoms include tiny white bumps, tingling, itching, and burning around the genital area. There can be pain when you're passing urine or when you're peeing and a vaginal discharge that is not usual for you. There can also be a discharge from the urethra that is the tube through which urine is released from the body. During the first outbreak, you may also experience symptoms that are flu-like in nature and these would include a headache, muscle aches and pains, fever, chills, feeling exhausted and the swelling of the lymph nodes around the groin area, the arm or the throat. For women, it is very important to know the signs and symptoms of genital herpes and report as early as possible to your doctor or to your sexual health clinic when you start experiencing these symptoms because the earlier this is diagnosed and treated the better it is also advisable that when a diagnosis is confirmed you communicate with all your sexual partners and encourage them as well to get tested and treated to prevent the spread of the infection safer sex and self-monitoring can help prevent the spread of herpes. I hope this video is beneficial. Please don't go away without giving it a thumbs up. Share with your family and friends. If you haven't yet subscribed to this channel, please hit on that subscribe button and also on the notification bell so you don't miss any of our informative content. Leave your questions and your comments in the comment section. Thank you once again for your time today and I hope to see you soon in my next one. Bye for now.